What is up, YouTube? Janky Yu Gi Oh! here. My name is Michael, and today we have some new cards to talk about. We have about three, including a continuous trap card, a very good spell card for the Lyra Lusk, uh, Lusk archetype, and a new Shonen Jump promo. Let's jump into it. First card is Revered Banner of the Revolution. So, it is a continuous trap card, and its first three effects are a hard once per turn. And it can only be used once each, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, if another card you control is a short a battle or card effect, you can add one liberty at last from your deck to or graveyard to your hand. At the start of damage step, if a synchro monster is a battling an opponent, or battling a monster, another monster in general, I mean... Uh, you can destroy the opponent's battling monster. Got a little bit ahead of myself on that one when reading. If this card in your spell and trap card zone would be destroyed by a card effect, you can destroy one monster you control instead. So, what does Liberty at Last do? Well, for those of you that don't know, Liberty at Last, which I have right here, uh, when a monster you control is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard you can target two face up monsters on the field shuffle those targets into the deck liberty at last is an older card and it's okay um it's not good enough to really see play competitive wise but i get it's not a bad card in general um like if you were to build like a sealed deck or whatever and for those of you who don't know what sealed is it's basically uh you open up uh like this a box or whatever and this card was in it um this card wouldn't be like a awful inclusion in that and same thing with this card um competitive wise nah casually wise if you're like playing like playground Yu-Gi-Oh or like Slow Yu-Gi-Oh! where you like summon and actually use trap cards and set and you're not like spamming out uh, synchros, fusions, and you know, making your big combo plays. If you're not doing that and you're playing kind of caveman Yu-Gi-Oh! This card isn't that bad. Uh, just because Liberty at last isn't a bad card in general. It's just kind of been power crept out. But yeah. Uh, okay card. Not good enough to see competitive play is my overall um, verdict on this. Um, casually wise, this is fine. Next up, Lyra Lusk Bird Call. So, Lyra, uh, so Bird Call, what does it do? It's a normal spell card, and you can only activate one of it per turn. You add or send to the graveyard. One layer loose monster from your deck, then special summon one different or yeah, one one different named lyrical loose from your hand. I kind of worded it wrong and everything, but it doesn't matter. It means the same thing that, as what I said. Basically, you add or send to the graveyard one, and then you special summon one. Um, definitely a three of in the Lyra loose. Um, they're really going all out with this support, so that's great. Uh, if you like this deck, you're going to definitely want three of this. So yeah, definitely pick three of these up. Rhoda's a good card. Toes Foolish Burial. And the Special Summons one from hand as well. It's like one of the better search cards, I think, in the game. Um, only downside is, uh, well, there's only two downsides. Being that one, it gets Ash Blossomed, and then the other one is, oh, it's a hard once per turn. But we're kind of used to uh, both those things at this point for for that. Um, but this deck is more casual anyway, and uh, casual players don't tend to use hand traps as much. Uh, I don't use hand traps in my less competitive decks. Um, mainly just because, you know, they're not that fun. Uh, and just in general, I mean, they're necessary for the game, but that's a whole nother topic I can, uh, get into later. So, yeah, good card. Uh, definitely play this if you're looking to play this archetype. 
Next up, we have the Shonen Jump promo. So we don't have the official art. We have its effect and stats confirmed. And what does it do? Well, Motor Shell is a level 4 dark machine effect monster with 1300 attack, 1800 defense, and its uh, effect is a hard one for turn. If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can special someone engine token, and that's all it does. So, it's okay so it send it getting an ninja token is a good thing all right the downside or it being a dark machine isn't a bad thing dark machines have specific dark machines have support there's there was actually a um there's a few cards that kind of support dark machines and uh that so that's kind of good downside is that's all it does and i know um if this was a tuner that's all it would need to do but it's not if it was a level one that's all it would need to do if it had if there were more ways to special summon this card reliably that's all it would need to do this is what i'm saying um, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe someone will end up using this and breaking it because token cards are pretty powerful. You can basically, if stuff summons enough tokens, any deck can OTK. Because base, if anyone summons enough monsters in general and has the right package for it in their extra deck, uh, you can OTK with almost any deck. Uh, I made a Kariba deck, and I put it on, um, I put it on the channel that, like, shows you the power of tokens. I didn't, I don't think I OTK'd with that, in that replay, but I did end up, uh, making some pretty big plays because of tokens. So, uh, go check that out. I'll leave a end card of it at the end of this video which will start right about now because that's going to be it for this video if it's your birthday today happy birthday and if you want to send me any cool deck profiles or replays i would love to see them you can tell me what you think about these cards in the comment section below uh like commenting and subscribing is good for the youtube algorithm helps out the channel a lot and of course and as always, have a wonderful day.